Hello, welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Haley here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Dan Dempster. Poly Playbook starts now. Cal Poly track and field team members Abby Iriafin and Sworn Jeep Boyle won conference titles at the Big West Track and Field Championships on Saturday at CSUN. Iriafin won the women's triple jump and she may now advance to the NCAA West Prelim round later this month. This was her first championship and the program's second in triple jump in three years. Boyle won his second conference championship with a 5,000 meter win following his 10,000 meter title from Friday. On the women's side, Mustangs finished in fifth place with 95 points and in sixth place with 100 points on the men's side. After both of the NCAA's two regional fields are announced on May 17th, the top 12 qualifiers per event will join the East in advancing to the national championships in June. The Cal Poly baseball team lost their series against UC Irvine 2-1 last weekend. UC Irvine's pitching dominated Cal Poly, holding the Mustangs to just one run in the games on Friday and Sunday. While the Mustangs managed to put hits on the board, they couldn't find a rhythm and left eight runners on base on Friday and seven runners on base on Sunday. Junior right-hander Michael Clark took the loss in Sunday's game despite only giving up one earned run. Two unearned, ru two unearned runs scored after an infield error in the fifth inning. The bats did manage to find some life on Saturday as Cal Poly put up four runs, including the go-ahead long ball by senior infielder Elijah Skips. The Mustangs are now 9-9 in the division and tied for fourth place in the Big West. Reporter Plume had the chance to walk or rather jog the bases with pitcher Cam Schneider. Check it out. Hi, this is Lauren Plume here with Walk the Bases. I'm here with right-handed pitcher, junior Cam Schneider. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. All right, let's get this thing going. Um, so how do you feel about your performance so far this season? Um, individually or the team? Just uh, individually and the team. Um, individually, I feel like I've been doing okay. Um, the last couple of games have been doing what I should have, but as far as the team, like we've been hitting the conference pretty good. Uh, we won five out of our last six, so we'll take that as a good note heading into tomorrow and this weekend. Okay, so let's talk a bit about this weekend in Hawaii. It took two or three games against one of the top teams in the conference. How did that feel? Oh, it felt really good. Uh, not only were we able to do that, uh, we were also able to have some fun there too. Um, it would have been nice to get that third game, but you know, not every day is yours, so we'll take the small victories. All right, do you have any pregame rituals? Um, Cal Poly softball concluded their season with a doubleheader against the rival UCSB Gauchos. The Mustangs lost the first game after a Gaucho walk-off, losing 5-4. to four. However, the team rallied the second game after giving up a run early. They responded with a five-run fourth inning and never looked back, ending the season with a 5-1 to one win. The beach volleyball pairing of Tori Van Winden and Emily Sunny took home the bronze at the USA Volleyball Collegiate Pairs Championship. The pair went 5-1 and one over the weekend to take home third place in the tournament that featured 30 pairs from 20 schools. The duo began the tournament by winning their pool by defeating the pairs from Cal and Pepperdine. Van Winden and Sunny began the playoff stage by sweeping UNC Wilmington 21-10 and 21-11. They defeated Pepperdine again, winning in three sets to advance to the semifinal round, where they fell to the eventual champion LSU in two close sets. Van Winden and Sunny defeated Florida State in the third place match 21-11 and 25-23 to take home the bronze medal. By finishing in the top three of the tournament, the pair earned the opportunity to train with the Team USA Beach Volleyball. We caught up with track and field senior Sierra Levy before she finishes her final season this year. Levy is a child development senior from Elk Grove, California out of her four years at Cal Poly. She has particip participated in the 100 meter hurdles and most recently the four by one 
100 relay. Levy finished last season in the top 10 fastest hurdlers in Cal Poly history. Levy gave us some insight on what it is like to be a student athlete at Cal Poly. I think after you tackle being a student athlete, you get really good, you get really good at being both. So I think it's difficult, but it's manageable if you know how to manage your time and actually focus on both things. Levy will participate in her final meet this weekend at the Big West Conference Championships at CSU Northridge. In national news, Supreme Court rules in favor of nationwide sports gambling. The court overturned the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act, which prevented states from allowing citizens to bet on sporting events. The court found that the 1992 federal law violated states' rights. That March Madness or Super Bowl gambling chip to Las Vegas you've been planning could be a reality soon. We couldn't choose between all the great plays this week, so here are two highlights from Baseball Series versus Irvine. Our number one play of the week is Elijah Skip's go-ahead home run in Saturday's game. Mustangs were tied at three with the eight eaters going into the bottom of the sixth. Skips' home run gave Cal Poly the lead, and they would win that one four to three. This was his fourth of the season, and check out the celebration at the end. It's coming here. And... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and for our second play of the week, it's a UC Irvine base hit to center field. Nick Anderson rounds third trying to score, but Alex McKenna throws a laser from the outfield and it's right on the money, and Nick Meyer makes the tag to keep the game scoreless. Here's a look at the upcoming games this week for Cal Poly. Baseball takes on Pepperdine in a non-conference game at 6 p.m. in Baggett. Stadium tomorrow, May 15th, and the Mustangs will finish off their home season this weekend against UCSB starting Friday at 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, or you can log in to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Dan Dempster. Have a great rest of the week.